Ew, I sure wish all bathrooms had bidets. Hopefully, most of you have finally switched over to a bidet at the height of the pandemic. So let me introduce to you this Simrodra hot and cold water bidet. Now, last time I installed their regular water bidet, which is just the cold water. So this is a special one. This is my very first hot water bidet, but since it doesn't require electronics, it should install pretty quickly. All right. And there are three colors to choose from. I, I think this is the white color. There's also a black and silver color. You have your, I guess I'll cover the buttons later. Okay. It's highly adjustable. You have hot and cold, cold and hot water. All right. And those are the two spray nozzles. Get into that later. So inside this packaging right here, as you can see, you have an instructions manual, but don't worry, I'll walk you guys through it. Some caps, you got. So it looks like this is the tube for the toilet, connecting the bidet to the toilet, and this is the hot water tubing. All right. You also have a valves, well, some washers. Let's go ahead and get started. It should be pretty simple. And of course, plumber's tape. All right, so welcome to my master bathroom. As you can see, I already have a bidet. It happens to be a Samodra cold water bidet. But it uses cold water. So what makes this new bidet attachment different is that I will need to hook up to a warm or hot water source. And it's actually located perfectly to where I have a sink right here. And then I would insert the tube into the hot water or add the tube to that. Today's project, you will most likely need to use a wrench and a flathead screwdriver, and it helps to have a bucket to collect the water. So let's get started. The first step I'm gonna do is remove the toilet seat cover. In order to do that, I'm gonna have to remove these two screws which holds it down to the toilet you see right there. That's the nut you will use the wrench to uh, hold onto the nut while you turn with a flathead screwdriver on these screws in order to remove it. it actually, it looks like it's easier just to hold the nut by the hand. Got the nuts and bolts to remove. Keep in mind, this is the up direction for later reference. Now I can finally remove the toilet seat cover and now it makes a good Time to clean, clean it up. It looks kind of nasty. <laughs> Isn't that a lot cleaner? Now is when I would install the attachment. You probably want it to be as close to the rim of the toilet and centered. Put these caps on. Okay. And then put the toilet seat cover back on. And you want to align the hose so you can put the screws back in to tighten it. It's pretty straightforward. Next up is to shut off the main toilet water valve. That way there's no water going into the bowl to refill it. I'm going to hold the flush button so I get all of the water out of the tank. Because when we disconnect it, we don't want any water dropping into the floor. That's why I have the bucket. So drain everything. And the next step is just basically remove all of this hardware, connecting hardware. I think all of this belong to the uh, cold water bidet. Okay, so like I said, that's when you need this bucket. This comes in handy, all right? Walk with me to my guest bathroom. I'm going to be actually installing the Samoja cold water bidet to this toilet all right so my next step is to connect a cold water valve i'm gonna use this t valve i'm gonna put this big washer in here with this facing up connected to there it looks like i have plumber's tape on there i'm gonna connect that and this goes to here 
where this valve will go to the cold water source of the bidet. All right, I have the top and bottom hose connected. Now I'm going to connect the cold water with the bigger opening right here. I'm going to connect it to, I believe it's the left side. If you could take a look down here, the split it into cold and hot water, see? Looks like the cold water is the outermost. And for those, you don't need plumber's tape. And here's what it looks like because there's already washers in here. And the washers need to be in contact. My next step is to connect the hot water hose. Here is the T-valve. I already have the washer in here, the small washer. So I find it easier sometimes connecting the in-between steps so it's easier before I connect it to the uh, hot water source. So remove this nut right here. Okay, you want to put it in this direction. Put this in tight. Insert it into the tube until it fits in there. Okay, because you don't want any leakage here. Put some force. And the hot water is typically on the left side, so I'm going to disconnect the hose and put this adapter in here. And of course, before I remove this valve, I have to turn off the water. Okay, I got a T valve in. I do some adjustment. I'll put the right the hot water hose back on. All right, and then I'm gonna connect the hot water hose to the bidet. Okay, ensure all the connections are tight, especially down here. Should be pretty much flush, except right here. Turn on the main water valve. I hope there is no leakage. Thank goodness, no leakage. All right, I'm gonna turn on the hot water. Make sure there's no leakage up here too. Okay, looks good. All right, with the main water valve on to the toilet and also the hot water on, let's go ahead and test out the buttons. I'm gonna press the self-cleaning button. No, it's just dripping water because I haven't increased the pressure yet. Okay. So this is the self-cleaning mode. In case it ever gets dirty, that's how you clean it. And off to turn it off directly. All right, now let's go ahead and test the, I believe this is to clean the front. So this also works perfect for feminine mode, which, uh, you know, in case of, you know, the monthly period or things related of that nature, or for men to clean their front private spot. Here we go. Okay, increase the pressure. And right now it's using cold water, don't forget. So it's using a left, no left nozzle right here. I'm gonna gradually increase it. That's a strong stream. And not even push it to full power or from the wall, right? Now here is for the buttocks. There's a symbol for buttocks. Again, off button directly turns it off, okay? Now is the fun part. I'm gonna adjust the water temperature. I'm gonna let that run a little bit. Let's say I just finished doing number two. It's cold, yes it is cold. So I'm going to gradually increase it to the hot, all right? And since I'm on the dirt level, it's going to take a little while for the hot water to get to the dirt level, but I can feel it getting warm already. Increase the pressure. Oh yeah, that's getting warm right there. So depending on how big your house is and how long the water pipe is, it can take upwards to 10 or 20 seconds to get the warm feature, but it's definitely gonna be a lot more soothing, especially for the winter time. And it's gonna be perfect because you don't have to uh, brave through the cold weather with my other bidets. Having that warm water feature is definitely adds a whole nother comfort level. Just finished taking a deuce. Let's go ahead and turn on the bidet. Oh, that's cold. So with the warm water, ah, that's more like it. I feel like I'm sitting in a hot water spring. Installation was fairly simple. Just ensure that everything's on tight, hand tighten, don't over tighten it. Make sure you use plumber's tape, use the seals that it came with, 
and it should be pretty much straightforward connected to the hot water hose and then you're going to be relaxing and staying so fresh so clean especially doing your business with number two so if you're looking for a easy to install but they with the warm water feature definitely check out the Samodra hot and cold water but they stay clean